guys i hope you're all doing really well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video if you're coming over from my last video where i did a vlog i showed you some new in bits in primark then today's video is kind of like a follow-on from that because it is as you can tell by the title a primark haul good old primark haul i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit disappointed with the fashion homeware as always with primark at the moment is amazing and in terms of the fashion there was still lots of bright bold colors everywhere i will just say that so i managed to find a few little bits that i picked up and i thought i would sit down and share everything i did get with you so i'm going to start with the first item which is in its own bag because i did take one of the white reusable ones however this was that big it just didn't fit in it so let me get, take it out and show you what it is had i have had one extra limb to be able to carry another bag i would have definitely picked this up in the chocolate brown color as well so maybe next time i go i'll pick it up but it's this gorgeous sherpa teddy coat which is so cozy it's particularly cold outside when i'm filming this video today so this is a very welcome i've actually just put on the um radiator in here because it was freezing so um yeah it's very much coat season i feel like we've jumped from heat wave straight into winter which um yeah and i, I realized i'm missing a, a teddy coat the one that i had previously i donated i picked it up in a small which is a 10 to 12 this is already oversized this coat so that's fine staying true to size 35 pounds i thought was very reasonable because sometimes their prices can be a little bit steep that i feel like is a good fair price point for this and it's got the tortoise shell buttons it's a gorgeous oatmeal kind of warmer color than my last one that i had was which was very creamy white this is i feel a bit more wearable and then like i said the chocolate brown one i'm just so tempted for because i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of that all cozy on our winter walks i feel like a brown would actually be a very practical color they didn't have my size when i went as well i did notice that they had i think extra large left only had i have had an extra limb to carry one it still wouldn't have been the right size anyway okay moving on i've got these cozy socks how adorable are these they are again very wintry very festive four pound for a pack of two so you've got this pair with the little pom-pom detail it's got like a really nice beige farewell kind of print and then these cozy um cozy material brown ones so kind of autumn into winter and then i got these um three pack of seam free wireless bras with removable cups comes in a three pack of cream and they are ribbed if you can tell um cream and then this beautiful terracotta rusty kind of color and then a fave of mine this kind of khaki olive green i just absolutely love so it was 11 pounds for the set of three i go from small to medium however i got these with the idea of comfort in mind and i don't like anything too restricting around my waist so that's why i feel like sizing up to a medium is like very comfy you know you could sleep in those and be comfortable speaking of sleeping and being comfortable i did pick up a pair of pajamas and i did go for a long pair again with the seasons changing and it getting colder i thought i would pick up this gorgeous pair of pajamas they are a super soft cozy cotton now they have lots of like fleecy material pajamas which i find gets quite staticky whereas this is like a super so soft like a brushed cotton um finish they even say super soft pajamas so yeah long sleeve top and then the bottoms are kind of like a legging in this ribbed fabric they are quite thin so i feel like i would wear these straight away before it gets too cold when it gets too colder then i like my thick long pajamas but those ones are good for now and then i picked up this from the edit range we all know i love the primark edit range that they do it's kind of like the posh primark they've got the very minimal branding quite um like luxe feeling from the edit range and they, it's like a curation of just a few pieces that are a bit more either tailored or a bit of a better fabric a bit of a more detailed cut maybe but either way it's like an elevated section in primark there's not much um but i did spot this new in dress and i got it in a 10 and it's just like a black shirt dress again i love the fact that this added detail here of this kind of 
panel that hides the buttons. I really like that. I think it looks a bit more expensive. And then it's got a tie waist as well. It's quite long, which I feel like would be nice to wear into winter. It could be a good occasion wear dress. It could be a nice just going out for dinner dress. You could wear tights and boots with it. So yeah, good versatile piece. I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of that. And then same with the idea of like nice top and trousers for dinner out or something. I thought I would pick up this top. So this again was from the Primark. Oh no, it wasn't. This is just a regular Primark range. This was 11 pounds and I got it in a size 12. They didn't have any 10s available, but I feel like a 12 will be fine. And it's kind of like a cheeky style on the back and it also zips up with tiny thin spaghetti straps and almost like a cow neck design. It is a beautiful black satiny fabric, which I feel like will be good for in an evening. And then next up, I've got these. So again, thinking maybe along the lines of pairing these together, um, just a simple, smart pair of trousers. I got these in a 12. These are from the edit range again, and they were 18 pounds. I believe I've had these in a beige colour. I think I've got them in my wardrobe. However, I think there are a 10. They didn't have any 10s available. They did have an 8, but I'm not getting into an 8. So I thought I'll pick up the 12, try and belt it. They're again that kind of khaki colour, which I feel like would look nice with black on top or white, even like with a white basic tee and some tra chunky trainers. And then I picked up this Sherpa hat. How cosy is this hat? It's like a little baseball cap, which I tend to wear on dog walks when it's a bit cold, it's only four pounds. And I wear these like if it's hair wash day or like I said, if it's a bit chilly outside and I just love the coziness with having a Sherpa one or like a Teddy one. Um, and it is again in that lovely khaki color that I wear quite a lot of. <gasps> these were stuffed in this shoe and I didn't purchase these. You guys know I wouldn't purchase these because they're like pink and purple. Uh-oh, they're a pound. <laughs> would you take them back? What would you do? Um, I didn't notice they were stuffed in these because I haven't even tried these on, but I figured they would fit. They're in a size seven. They are ultra mini Ugg dupes. So I do love my ultra mini Uggs that I've got in the antelope shade. Um, sorry, I just can't get over the fact that I feel like these were stuffed in there and I didn't realize. Anyway, I picked up these because I wear my ultra mini Uggs quite a lot and I don't want to ruin them. I have higher Uggs that have definitely become a dog walking boot and I just don't want to ruin my ultra mini ones because they do get trashed. If you wear them like muddy places, they just don't last. So I thought I would get these chocolate brown ones as a bit of a dupe for being a bit less precious with, even just like to throw on and run out into the garden or whatever um, in the winter when it's quite cold outside, let the dog out and I just want a cozy shoe to put on. So I got them, how much were they? Did I tell you? Six pounds. I think six pounds is actually so reasonable for these because usually their boots are sort of 12 pounds, sometimes even upwards, maybe like 16. Anyway, I also picked up these. These were an impulse till purchase that I got. I do have a couple of rollers this size already, but these are the only size that I use. So I've got one of those sets where it comes with the smaller rollers and I just never use those ones. So, um, and then I always run out of the big ones. So I decided to pick up this pack of eight for two pounds. And then some homeware bits. I got this set of two napkins. I actually got two of them. So that I have four because two plus two is four. <laughs> they were three pounds each. They're from the Christmas section, which let me tell you, they had so many Christmas bits. If you saw my vlog, you'll have seen. I have seen that White Company have brought out this color this year. So I may be tempted to do a bit of a forest green theme this year. I did a bit of a pop of burgundy last year, which I do love and I may still do. And also I only got four napkins because I thought if ever you're hosting, say a table of eight, you could interchange them between like a natural linen and then a forest green linen or even like a burgundy and mix and match the colors. And then I just got some of their room fragrance sachets. I say room fragrance, but you can put these in like gym bags or wherever really in toilets. Um, not in the toilet, in a bathroom. And I got these because they are all very autumnal kind of scents. So we've got amber and nectarine. How gorgeous is that illustration as well? 
And then this one is in Woodlands with some cute little mushrooms, very appropriate for this time of the year. And then last but not least in the acorn design, we've got cedar wood. And last but not least from the kitchen section, I say last but not least, I do have something else to share with you at the end, but I picked up these glass canisters with this gorgeous dark brown lidded wood top. I love the shape of this. They are definite Zara home dupes for sure. Um, and I had to pick them up because they were only four pounds and four pound 50. And I just feel like with a brand new kitchen incoming and a pantry, I feel like I'm definitely gonna get my use out of these kind of jars. So whenever I find ones at a bargain price, I've kind of been stockpiling for um, for the future. But yeah, these would look good with like pastas, rice, granola, um, even some seasonal chocolate treats in there. Cause obviously with the glass, you can see through them. Coffee pods, that's another way to seasonally decorate with color themed coffee pods if you've got an espresso machine. And then last but not least, Primark very kindly sent me an autumnal hamper, which I did briefly show you guys in a vlog a while back when it first arrived. But I thought, seeing as though this is the first Primark haul I've done since then, I would just quickly run through these bits in case you missed that. So pumpkin spice syrup they sent. I don't think that's sold at Primark, but thanks to them nonetheless. This little wreath, which is only £2.50. What a bargain. This little tea light holder, it was only two pounds. And then this gorgeous candle in this beige color, they had these in white as well. This was three pounds. This little pumpkin candle at only one pound 50. They included a Vaseline for 80p and some more cozy socks. These are four pounds for the pack of two. How gorgeous are these colors, love them. I think these are in the wellness section infused with aloe vera. I completely missed that the first time around. How amazing is that? Caffeine free coffee face mask. And then, oh, we've got matching to my acorn cedarwood um, reed diffuser to my little room sachet. So I'll put these in the same room. These reed diffusers are only 80p and they last up to four weeks. £3.50. This cozy fox mug, which I just think is so adorable. I'm such a lover of a seasonal mug and then vitamin c eye patches these are the rhodial dupes and then this gorgeous pumpkin how adorable is this this is only four pounds quite weighty as well so i feel like that would be good to be sat on top of a coffee table book or something and then last but not least within the hamper basket i think they sell these at primark as well they included one of these cozy um scarves i was going to say a throw then but it is a scarf love that so thanks to primark for sending me that i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video i'm definitely going to head back soon a to see if i can hunt down that chocolate brown teddy coat in my size and b to see if they bring out any more cozy knits they had a few just nothing that blew me away so i definitely want to head back very very soon to see what they do have so let me know if you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video Bye guys.